All right, well, you're on first because it's already started, so they're gonna... <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna trim that out. <laughs> All right, well, hey guys, welcome. This is the first video at site B3. Remember, B3 is because there's three Bs in it, because the blood bath bunker. And then we have special guest, G.I. Joe. So, man, welcome to Atlanta. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. So, uh, we've been uh, a lot of playtesting on the 42. Now you guys are playtesting a lot on the 40. Uh, so, Joe don't drink, so I gave him uh, a juice box, while, of course, I have my rum and Red Bull. Yeah. Only one though, I've got to drive home. That's right. So. Yeah, we have been play testing a lot. And actually, we're in the middle of a 40 game right now on YouTube. And go to my channel if you want to see that. Or Hambone's channel, VK Cowboys channel, Moffett Field, Matt Todd, I mean, Hilltop Pillbox. So, this is about the fifth or sixth game we play tested. So, we're trying to work out all the kinks before. Yeah, uh, yeah. For the blood Here we are. I didn't, I didn't cringe paint it yet, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Looks this, great. This is where it's going to happen. We're going to now have the events at my house. So, uh, easier for me. Yeah. Yeah. Looks cool. Plus, here there's a lot of historical sites to go see, right? There's a lot of, there's a lot of history here in, uh, in yeah, this I mean, area for Civil War. Yeah, more Civil War history mm -hmm. stuff. But, yeah. yeah, all over the place. Yeah, so that's cool. You guys coming into town. Uh, there's, you know, not Disneyland, but there <laughs> is uh, historical stuff to go check out. Yeah. Um, so I kind of got to hear a little list of everything that we've changed. Uh, I think I wrote it down all. Uh, if I missed yeah. something. Uh, now the new map is, I did finish the new map, the 3.0. So I just got to upload that to the Dropbox. So if you do have the file, just use the same download link I gave you when you got the file to get the new file. Um, the map will say 3.0 on it. Uh, actually it'll say 30 underscore then whatever date it, it is so um, and there was a pretty cool edit on that for Africa oh if yeah not, very if, cool if you're not on the chat group you don't know about it and speaking of the chat group we do have a uh, bloodbath chat and if you want to be a part of that um, just on this video just just let me know uh, you have um, it's through WhatsApp mm -hmm. right so basically uh, you download that app and then via that phone number, it'll, you'd be included on in the chat. I think it's and it is free, and it's great for international. Yeah, content. yeah, yeah. So uh, if you want to be involved in the chat, basically, there's I don't know how many of us there are, but there's a lot. I think most of the guys that were at the last tournament. Yeah, September. yeah. Um, so, anyways, uh, questions come up about the game. Uh, you can ask. Plus, there's a lot of talk about just miscellaneous crap mm -hmm. that people uh, seem to enjoy. So, anyways, just throwing that out there. If you're not uh, already on the chat, you'd like to be just text, or not text, but uh, post a comment. Um, also, there was something else I was going to say and it totally just flew out of my head, so never mind. Okay, so, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the rules. Now, we did, um, we did uh, mods to Russia, mm -hmm. and that was, mm -hmm. the Manchuria used to be a plus 10 bonus for taking Manchuria, um, a one-time payment that got stripped down to five. Um, they had their... Um, Originally controlled, taken to Axis territory or pro Axis. Yeah, spread of communism, I think. Or? It was three per. Now it's two per. Right. Right. And um, the uh, factory movement was a cost of IPC to move. Now it costs two IPCs to move. Correct. Um, in addition to that, there was a map change that Bessarabia is now one IPC. Mm -hmm. And that was in. in even, was, even kinky or whatever, whatever. Yeah, ever ever squeegee or something like that <laughs> that was stripped so that will be a zero uh, all and that is reflected on the 3.0 map uh, let me see here we have the convoy changed a little bit um, convoy is now in 3.0 uh, just in case you miss each ship that has is convoy capable is is auto, is an automatic point so if you're on the coast of uh, Norway and you have three ships there, there's no reason to roll the convoy because you already exceeded the amount. That's just in case in case you miss. You can never miss now. It's right. almost like... Guaranteed convoy. Yeah, it's almost like your, your bombing raid. The bombing raid, if you have a crappy bombing raid, you still get plus two. Mm -hmm. You know, so this kind of gives you... It's a plus one per ship. Um, so now, you cannot exceed that amount. You, you don't roll, and then you get plus one per ship. It's just... You know what I mean? Yeah, kind of an either or thing. Yeah, it's just kind of like, hey, you have a max of three. Do you need to roll right. or not? 
if you need to roll and then you know you have say you roll a two you get a plus one even if you had 10 ships there whatever you know what i mean yeah so you're guaranteed you're a, guaranteed a convoy unless you have a submerged submarine correct yes yeah, submerged do not convoy and uh what about the, I forget, the, the capital ships, the battle, the damaged battleship don't convoy, right? The damaged battleship cannot convoy? That's, that's, what, I, that's what I thought. That's what or I thought. any capital ship. And of course, planes on a carrier would not be, would not count, would not count towards the automatic correct, correct, convoy. Correct, correct, correct. Okay, um, so that takes care of that. Next one is Italy and O. Um, talked about that the other day and I didn't really have an answer. Uh, okay, so, we need to sit down and think about this. Okay, there's going to be a new Italy NO, and basically it's to give Italy an extra IPC for territories of no value. Because one of the territories we added was um, uh, Morocco, city of Casablanca, mm -hmm. which is going to be a zero value. Uh, El Alamein is zero value. Tobruk. Tobruk is zero value. Mm -hmm. um, we already have British uh, Small Land. That's already yeah. That was already included. So those right there will be a value to Italy only. Uh, Cyprus. Yeah. Why, why don't we just throw Cyprus? Yeah. On I there? mean, what, might as well just to make it less confusing. Okay. So that Cyprus and is Crete is pro allied. Crete. Well, leave Crete zero as it is. It was pro. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, we have you have Cyprus. We have Casablanca. You have. Uh, to Brook, El Alamein, and El Alamein. Those those four territories will be in addition plus one, yeah, plus one card. Mm -hmm. So the one card that says British Somali land, whatever, whatever. These will now be included on that card. So mm -hmm. Italy's got a little more uh, thunder to run around and grab some. And why don't we uh, throw Gibraltar in there for a buck? Gibraltar oh yeah, for sure. I think so. So Gibraltar yeah. also be worth uh, a value to Italy. Mm -hmm. uh, so cool. Yeah, that's that's five IPCs right there that yeah. can help. You, that you normally wouldn't get for having the Italian treasury. Yeah. Yeah. It's really hard to keep Africa. Once Italy gets Africa, it's hard to keep it, especially if they're on a fixed income. Mm -hmm. It's really it's really hard to keep it. So at least hopefully this will help out a, a tad, um, you know, an extra foot soldier here and there at least. And, and they already have the NO for Middle East stuff. Correct. Yeah. So I mean, that's correct. Okay. Okay. So we're good there. So that's it then. Uh, so uh, I guess I should might write that down, but I, I should be okay. Okay, so France, we talked about France adding Casablanca. Um, China, the China came up about the tank um, and the rule book says you can put it on any, that was on the Burma road. I guess we're gonna, we're gonna cancel placing the China tank in Burma. It's gotta be placed in the Chinese territory. Yeah. Okay. And I, uh, we're play testing right now. Actually we did in our game that we played here a while back, a couple weeks ago, that China can go into Southeast Asia. Oh, that's that? right, I forgot about, it's not on here, but yes, uh, China can now leave China, not only go to Burma, not only go to uh, Hong Kong or Shanghai, is it Hong Kong? Hong Kong's UK. Yeah, Hong Kong's already okay. out of the box. Okay, so those two, but now they can go to French into China, they can go to Siam. Mm -hmm. Malaya. Malaya's a little, I guess they go to Malaya, I guess. All South China. I mean, probably yeah, easier yeah. to say All South Asia, yeah. it's South not Asia. including India. Yeah. And yeah. then I guess the question would be, can they spawn there? They yeah, I would say no on the spawn. Okay. But uh, they can go there because um, they were actually there in Malaya when they surrendered. Like, not they surrendered, but then when Japan was surrendering, mm -hmm. China was there. So, I mean, obviously China was there. And that helps um, China have a little more power to go mob around and do stuff provided you let them live yeah so yeah um, cool i'm glad you brought that up because i didn't actually write that down uh, yeah so where are we at now what else is here we have uh well the, can we you may already have this down there the thing about target selecting with tax and infantry is that you are we just play testing that no no we'll just, we'll, just, we'll just take that it's not on here actually uh we'll just let's go ahead and do that um uh, tax are you cool with that yeah yeah fine yeah, there's been there's some uh, questions brought up by some of the guys who've been playtesting about Japan's ability to target select the infantry in China, and it just kind of makes their process of taking the China point fairly simple uh, without any loss. Like I think a game I played here a time or two ago, I <clears throat> almost had all of China and only lost one infantry. But uh, so I think the you know we contemplated several things like a, a triple A for China. Or this, that, and the other, and uh, I think actually Hambone came up with the idea, which was a great idea, 
which is well, if we just say that tax cannot target select infantry, kind of like they can't target select transports, then that kind of solves that problem. Yeah, which, which makes sense. They're not going to drop their one bomb trying to get the knucklehead over there. Right. They're going to save that bomb for you the know, tank. tank. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so that, that, that works out. Um, and the bombers now, too, the strategic bombers roll two dice at two, at two or less. And the heavy bombers is four dice at two or less. So, and it's still one, still one round, uh, but now it's, it's two dice. And that's just the strict, or the stripped, uh, what do you call it? Just the, the regular strategic bomb. Right. Not, no upgrades or anything, just. Mm -hmm. Replacing two at two. Correct, correct. Versus one of four. And, um, oh, that uh, the ATC tech, um, which said unlimited scramble is not going to be a six cap. Mm -hmm. And three of them could only, up to three could be friendly. Um, so, for example, if UK has that tech and America has six planes, only three of those America can scramble. Right, but if UK has six planes on Gibraltar, all six can Correct, scramble. correct, yeah, yeah. Right. So, um, six max per that owner of that tech, mm -hmm. three max for a friendly. Correct, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I know there was some people talking about... Uh, why they share tech. I mean, it's, it's not fair that you share tech. And I, I don't see it sharing tech. I, I don't think it's any different than if my Anzac fighter landed on my America supercarrier. I can't say that fighter can't land and take up that third spot on my deck because Anzac didn't have, right. didn't have supercarriers. That's kind of ridiculous. You know what I mean? Obviously, he can land on my, on my carrier. Right, so, and, and plus, and if, if my if, I'm, if my guy is on a radio tower, saying, "Hey, do this, do this," because I have air traffic control, obviously I'm going to talk to my allies too. I'm not going to say, "Well, I'm not going to talk to Joe over there because you don't have to tick." You know what I mean? It's just it's just kind of it's one of those things. It's just uh, it's it kind of works out being a shared tech kind of in a way. Yeah, and I think I mean an airbase is an airbase. Yeah, even out of box rules. You share air bases. You share air bases. So what's the difference? You, no you get plus one movement from correct. an air base, even if you're an allied. And I think some questions were brought up regarding the Mediterranean in that if there's an air base at Gibraltar with a plus two movement, then American planes can hit every single sea zone in the Med. Well, the thing is, even without the tech, if you just had an air base on there, you can hit every single sea zone in the Med except for one, which is... Is it 97? Whichever one is just east of Rome, mm -hmm. between Rome and, and Yugoslavia. That's the only sea zone that cannot get hit with a regular air base. So you're only adding essentially one, one sea zone with that tech in the med. And, you know, there are ways around that if you're an Axis player. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> there's, it's, you know, you don't like allies putting an air base there, then get it first and put your own air base there. I mean, yeah. Yeah, we, we've done it with Axis. Axis have done the same thing. Or Italy and Germany has an air base, you know, does the scrambling. It's just whoever gets there first, or, and if that's the way the game progresses. I mean, how many times have we played where there's been an air base there by UK, and it doesn't even matter. It, it, it doesn't even come to gameplay effect. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's pointless. Um, so there's that. Um, so what else we got? Uh, transport tech. Well, well, you want to talk about, since we're dealing with the oh. air base and the ATC, the triple A's? do negate target select Yes. from yes. <clears throat> tactical bombers. And that's on land and sea. And there are triple A's in battleships. Triple A's in battleships, yes. Yeah. Um, also, you can capture the right. anti-aircraft guns. So if there's a anti-aircraft gun sitting there and you land there or take that, that anti-aircraft gun is captured mm -hmm. and it becomes your anti-aircraft gun. Also, they do flyovers. Flyovers. Though. Only on combat moves, not non-combat. Okay, okay. So combat move flyovers means if you are <clears> using <throat> that space in your movement to get to point A to point B and there's an enemy aircraft, enemy anti-aircraft gun, they get to fire at you on before you get to your destination. Yeah, like if, <clears throat> if you're UK with bombers and you want to bomb Rome and you want to come all the way through France, Germany, and Germany lays out... Uh, Triple A's all along, yeah. you know, West Germany, Paris, Northern Italy, on the way. Then you have to 
you get shot at every single time you fly yeah, over every right? territory. Yeah. I mean, that's just it, it. It really affects your flight path, um, especially when Germany starting with a few in the middle there, yeah. um, and Italy. I mean, it's, they kind of get spread out a little bit. Uh, it really affects flight paths. Um, and uh, oh, I forget. So I have a times three here. What was that? What was that? Oh, so the, uh, the flyovers is still three per. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Not not doing the classic where it's one right. per okay. plane. Yeah. It's still it's still uh, times it's still three dice per an aircraft. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. So the transport tech now, the transport tech, the improved transports also not only get to load the extra dude, um, but now every transport will defend at one. Rather than pairs, correct. Correct. So yeah. So you don't you don't you don't need to combine arms anymore. You have five transports. You're rolling five at one mm -hmm. on, on on defense. Okay, that was so cool. Uh, we talked about the best Arabia already. Oh, resources. Uh, Manchuria now is a resource, and that was stripped away from West Ukraine. It's right. no longer a resource territory. It kind of gives a, another one on the Pacific side. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's only five. Uh, maybe uh, between now and I can put another one on that way. There's six, yeah. maybe three and three. I can you find can. somewhere. Uh, I mean, that way Axis start with one of the three that they need. Yeah. In Manchuria, and then they have to take Ukraine, or Siberia, or Urals, or Caucasus. Mm -hmm. So okay. Um, and now the most important thing, I think, is the two new victory points. Oh yeah. We have the right point, and we have the imperial point. Yeah, we play tested. Uh, I think two or three forty-two games on this, and this is our third forty game, a BBR forty game, and. Honestly, and then we play tests a couple yeah, times, but it's just it's it was pretty much impossible to, to keep. But they yeah, yeah we, they they've gone through a scenario on how to get them. Right. I mean, they've come from owning these territories to okay owning these territories and these territories. Now it's coming down to an IPC value, and I like this a lot better because that means this point is going to float. This point can float all over the map. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you're getting dominate over here, well, you can float that point to be over here. So basically, it's a uh, IPC value on the tracker, not NOS. Mm -hmm. And if Japan is making 52 IPCs on the tracker, that is considered they doubled their IPC, they doubled their their stretch, and that is considered the imperial point. It doesn't right. matter how they got the 52 IPCs. It doesn't matter. Did you take all of China? Did you? Get the money islands and get city. It doesn't matter what combination you get these. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you've lost some of your own and accumulated 52. You as a Japanese player get to determine what you want your empire to be. Correct. Correct. And then if you make it, if you double your income to 52, mm -hmm. that is worth the victory point. Yeah. That's great. And the right one is 70 IPCs. And that is Italy and Germany's income combined. Right. Um, so, well, the thing, and you can float that. I mean, you, did did you go to Moscow? Did you go to London? Did you take whatever? It's just it's the same thing. It floats. Those two work together as one entity to create the right point. And it doesn't matter how you got seventy IPCs on the income tracker. As long as they, if they both equal seventy at the end of round eight, bam, point. Oh yeah. Well, and uh, thing, one reason I like about it is one, it's just more obtainable. But two, we played a game here about a week or two ago, and the neat thing about it is at the very end, the Axis are still being aggressive trying to take territories rather right. than just turtling. Yes. It's they're, a, they're trying to get more money to try to get that extra it's, point. It is a little different now at the end. Like if you're saying at the end, it would you would basically try to hunker down right. and defend every single point. But now, you could be like, hmm, if I take that and that, I go, I'm not going to have another point. So right. it's, uh, it's great. It's good. great. So now we're up to 30 possible points. Access still only need 12 of those. Yeah. That leaves 18 points on the table. I mean, that's a, that's a big fluctuation, especially since the resources is a floating point. Yeah. The oil is a floating point. There's two points to, to float the oil. Have this, have this, have that, have this. Now the IPC, now the right point and the imperial point float, that's, that changes a lot of the aspects of how to get these points. I mean, 
four floating points is pretty cool. And that that's why I, I personally like BBR so much because every game is not scripted, you know? You know, there might be that first time that first turn round where typical certain things are done, but you really don't know if you're if you're the allied player, you really don't know where the actions are gonna go. No. It, rather than just, okay, we know they're going for Hong Kong, we know they're going for Shanghai. It's not just a victory city thing like an out of box. You've got to really put yourself in position as an allied player to really help stop the entire globe. So Yeah, it's 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 great, man. It's great. Yeah. Time for a drink. Yeah, yeah. So we're talking about this too. Um, Matt Todd, he sent me a while back these cards. And uh, I don't know how to open them though. And these are these are printed on plastic. And I think Yeah, I need those. These are these are nice. These are truly truly the way to go. Uh, I don't think these are available yet. Uh, Matt Ty was working on them. Actually now um, He's going to be updating the cards for me so you have a few uh, edits to do on the, on the cards so if you were thinking about ordering a deck online um, i would suggest wait until these options are available in addition to wait because i gotta do some edits um, like i said i gotta add the, uh, i gotta edit the italy no uh, we gotta change a couple of the russia ones uh, you know the value so there's only a few changes on here so just you know, if you were thinking about uh, doing that just wait and I don't know if I mentioned um, cyberbud.com community backslash backslash, backslash community. yeah community um, has been up for a while, um, but you can go there to get the downloads to get the latest news. Um, I don't go on there too often, unfortunately, just because there's nothing really to say yet. But now with 3.0 getting ready to break out, there'll be a lot more uh, a lot more topics on there for me to get to and and, and talk about uh, when the rule books new rule books are coming out, uh, the decks. Um, now, yeah, I started doing those uh, BBR video series. I got up to like video 11 or something like that, but I kind of paused it because some changes were starting to be made and I didn't want to. So I'll probably go back and redo a few things like the target select video and then. Uh, yeah, yeah, we got some changes now uh, but on that. I'll probably be redoing some of those. So. Yeah, and the, but it's fun stuff, fun stuff. So now the Bloodbath, Bloodbath 3. Currently is scheduled to be here September 26th to 28th. Now I know there's a lot of crap going on with people may or may not be able to fly yet. I'm not moving sure. it to Wuhan, China. So no. <laughs> I'm willing to postpone it until the October-ish range mm -hmm. if, if if it helps people that want to come come. Uh, otherwise, if if not, rather just keep it in September. Uh, November kind of be impossible. December yeah. is going to be impossible. And then we're in the next year, so. Yeah, I mean it's gotta it's gotta happen. Even if it's just you and me, <laughs> we're, we're, we'll play the two out of, best two out of three games, and then one of us is walking away with gold, and then one's walking away with silver. <laughs> Guaranteed winner, participation trophy. Right, right. So uh, you know, but so it's gotta happen this year. Um, so just don't book a flight, but it will be here in Georgia. Um, no, well, at least the tentative date is September twenty sixth, twenty eighth. I mean, right. it's been that it's been that way for a long time. Um, so should they go ahead and register now, or you? Yeah, want I mean, and that's and that's that's still three months. Yeah. Still three months away. Uh, okay. So uh, uh, we can talk about registering again, I guess, soon. Um, I'm going back to California tomorrow. I'll be back in three weeks. So maybe a little bit more would have happened in the world to figure out what we're doing. Uh, yeah, in general, Georgia's pretty open right now. They were actually the well, first state to open up, I think. And, um, you know, who knows what's going to happen, but right now things are pretty open. Yeah. You know, people wearing masks and, and making as smart a decisions as possible, of course. But um, uh, we know if you're in certain parts of the country, you might not be able to travel. You might not be willing to travel. You know, things are still not good. But right. we'll, we'll keep it safe here, too. Uh, we'll have uh, sanitizer things. Uh, you can, you know, um, keep your hands clean. Uh, uh, obviously, if you're not feeling good, uh, I'm sorry, just don't come. Mm -hmm. You know, even if you're already here, you start, not, you start getting sick, just stay in your hotel. Should we check their temperature when they get Right, there? right. Yeah, if everyone bend over, we'll start putting it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I don't think they do it like that. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, uh, you know, obviously I keep it uh, safe for everybody here as much as I can. Um, so. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. 
Uh, glad to have you here, man. Thanks, thanks. This looks awesome. Can't wait for you to finish it. Yeah, I show you get a tour of the, of the site B3, but not yet. It's it's nothing. But you're gonna have banners and stuff too, right? Yeah, I got the the <clears> old <throat> banners. The 18, 19 banners will be up. Uh, plus now now that it's here, all the participants, you know, they generally sign the banners. We just want to start signing the wall. I mean, this, the wall goes around. It'd be kind of cool over the years to see all the different mm -hmm. graffiti being added to the wall back here down here at the bunker. Um, it'd be kind of cool this. Yes, people, new people come and go that you get to see, oh, here was this person, here was that person, I, you know. I mean, I get to meet them, but if you just saw it, they were here once upon a yeah. time. And this is in the bunker basement, but it's air conditioned, so it's very comfortable here. Yeah, we got the uh, HVAC running down here, um, so uh, make sure you guys are comfortable. Plus, I still have those ACs, the portable ACs, if, if need be, but I don't think we'll need them. But if we do, they're, they are here. So. You know, Atlanta doesn't have like a beach, of course, like California or Disneyland, but you know, we do have a Six Flags and we do have uh, CNM Center, Coke, uh, Coca Cola, Aquarium. You know, you've got a lot of historical stuff, like he was saying with the Civil War, and uh, um, I guess accommodations. I know there's a hotel right there in Hiram, but you know, uh, we could be talking about that, I guess, in the future. Yeah, yeah. Um, but if you are interested, um, just go to the site, sirebud.com. Uh, slash community, you'll see on the bottom events shows the bloodbath. If you are planning on attending, just say hey, I plan on attending um, because the the there will be a cutoff for sure. I mean, I can only have so many people here at my house, so um, yeah, you know, uh, not sure who's coming at this point. Joe's coming, I think. I'll drive over. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you know, kind of go from there. This but, is cool because a lot of people on some of the. Uh videos and stuff we've done they've been like man we want a bloodbath east eastern yeah. regional and we kind of joked about that well now we're here here so you go here's your chance if you want to come just let me know uh, we are in georgia and to be more precise we are in hiram georgia northwest of atlanta yeah it's about, about, about 30, 30 minutes that's about 30 minute drive but once you uh, get off the plane catch your car about 30 minute drive uh, not so close as it was in la getting off the freeway near to the shop in seven minutes but hey <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's, cool, it's, it's pretty cool out here. It's pretty cool, and they are there is hotels around. I checked already. I don't know the names. I think there was a uh, like a comfort suite, and there was a there was, a, there was like anyway, there was like three or four hotels around here. And yeah, they, and the Hiram Strip here is what five minutes away. It's got everything. In everything, there. everything. Yeah. So, well, thank you again. Hey, man. For, uh, Welcome to Holland again. Yeah, thanks, thanks. So, uh, talk to you guys soon. Uh, thanks for uh, tuning in. And I got to walk over there. Now you know. And no one's half the bad. Right, right. Oh, and, and you see uh, the, the shirt. The shirt. <laughs>